Welcome to the Toolsec tutorials of Autodesk Maya. All right, so Toolsec formula allows you to manipulate shapes based on equations, whichever supported by the Python language. Select any polygonal object and click on the shape label to write into its own line box. The core algorithm of formula is implemented using OpenMaya, so it will handle millions of vertices, mostly in a few seconds. All right, so let's create a brand new polygon plane over here. Let's scale it up a little bit. Let's subdivide it a little bit. And let's click on the shape label to load it. All right. There are two text panels, as you will realize. Their sizes can be changed by the splitter over here. The top one is for comments, which will be evaluated only once before everything else. This is useful for things like importing statements or defining functions because they don't need to run in every single iteration again. The bottom one is for equations which will be evaluated at every single iteration. These iterations are based on vertices. All right. There are variables to be used in reading and writing. Both are initially x, y and z. You must assign at least one of writables to get a meaningful result, of course. There are a few examples you can examine. Just select any example from the combo box and click on the fill button to load its configuration. All right. Finally, there are two additional checkboxes over here. Secure option provides that if an error happens in an iteration, just bypass and continue to next iteration. So you can skip mathematical exceptions like division by zero, negative exponent, so on and so forth. Normal variable option adds three more variables that could be used in reading. You can see them over here, xn, yn, and zn. These are normal vectors of current vertex separated in world axes. These vectors are normalized. So their minimum value is zero and maximum value is one. Just keep in mind. All right. So let's click on the formulate button to see results of a few examples pretty quickly. And even before doing that, let's enable smooth mesh preview and two sided lighting for the sake of this tutorial. All right. Let's start with example four. And let's click on the formulate button. And this is the result we get over here. And example five, you can realize secure option is enabled here to bypass negative exponent error. All right, let's click on the formulate button. And this is the result we get over here. Example seven. And this is the result we get over here. Example eight. And this is the shape we get over here. Example nine. And this is the shape we get over here. Example 10. And this is the result we get over here. Example 11. And this is the result over here. Example 12. And this is the shape over here. Example 13. And this is the result we get over here. Example 14. And this is the shape over here. Example 15. And this is the shape we get over here. And finally, example 16. You can realize normal void variable option is enabled because xn, yn, and zn variables are used in the equation. Let's create another shape for this example. Let's create a brand new polygon cube over here. Let's scale it up a little bit. Let's subdivide it a little bit. And let's load its shape. And let's click on the formulate button. And this is the result we get over here. All right. Thanks for watching me. See you in the next video.